Hello, good morning everyone. In the last few classes, we discussed about flip-flop, various type of flip-flop. A flip-flop uh, which, which, uh, which can be used to store a single bit data of information, which can be either zeros or one. But in uh, digital electronics, we want to store a group of bits, uh, which can be called a word. Uh, then we need to use a uh, group of flip-flop. We, we have to use a group of flip-flop in together. Uh, such, uh, such groups of flip-flop are called the registers. So registers are nothing but a group of flip-flop and this is the simplest uh, definition of a flip-flop. Now, uh, sorry, this is the simplest uh, definition of a register. So in this class, we will uh, we'll study in detail about the registers. Uh, basically, there are uh, two type of registers. One is the buffer type of registers and other one is uh, series uh, shift registers. So we will discuss in details about these two types of uh, registers. Hence, register is a device which is used to store uh, such group of information that is a word of information. Uh, basically, it is a group of flip-flops connected in series used to store multiple bits of data. So, if you want to uh, store n-bit information, n-bit register, so we need to use an n-bit register. So, if you, are, if you have to use uh, n-bit registers, we need to use n number of flip-flops. So, that basically, if you want to uh, store one 2-bit data, we need to use two flip-flops. If you want to store 4-bit data, we need to use 4 bits flip flops so generally this flip flop will be uh, connected uh, clock pulse connected so that it, it, it will respond according to the clock pulse no uh, it can be a uh, positive triggered clock pulse or negative triggered clock pulse so here you can see a 4 bit uh, register uh, where you can see that all the clock signal is connected to all these uh, all these four flip flops and the informations are given in I1, I2, I3 and I4. And the outputs are taken along Q1, Q2, Q3 and Q4. A buffer register is a simplest type of uh, registers which is used to store a binary word of information. So, which is normally used as a temporary storage of information. It can be either while uh, writing or uh, reading, reading information from memory. The circuit diagram of a 4-bit buffer register is shown here uh, and uh, you can see that uh, a common clock pulse is connected to all these 4 flip-flops. Since it is a 4-bit uh, buffer register, we need to use 4 uh, flip-flops. Uh, here you can see that we in the uh, registers, we just want to store data and we don't need to toggling. So generally, uh, D type of flip-flops will be used for buffer register. This is the simplest type of uh, registers. You can see that uh, B1, B2, B3 and B4 uh, which are the inputs and here we are applying uh, the binary data information as the input and Q1, uh, Q1, Q2, Q3 and Q4 are the output terminals. So when all the flip-flops are synchronized with a clock pulse, data inputs are loaded into the flip-flops. So, it will happen simultaneously when a clock pulse is uh, synchronized uh, given to all these four flip-flops that whatever data given to B1 will be reflected in the uh, Q, Q1, Q2, Q3, Q4. It, it will be reflected here. So, the relation between the outputs and inputs are this one. The Q1, Q2, Q3, Q4 is equal to B1, B2, B3, B4. Here you can see that, that there is a no control over the inputs uh, which in turn leads to uncontrolled outputs. So that is one of the limitations of buffer registers. It will immediately respond to what is given into the input and it keeps also so there is a, there is no control over the inputs as well as uh, do, uh, the corresponding outputs. The bit stored in uh, shift registers which can be made to move within the registers uh, in or out of the registers by applying a clock pulse. So such registers are called shift registers. So in a shift registers which is capable of shifting the binary information to the right or left. The serial shifting, there are two type of uh, shifting. One is called the serial shifting where the one bit at a time 
for each clock pulse. So one bit of information will be transmitted for each clock pulse. Whereas in parallel shifting, all the data gets shifted simultaneously during a single clock pulse information. Because there is a, when there is a single clock pulse. So depending on that, uh, we can classify. There are four type of shift registers where uh, the serial one is called the serial input, serial output. So where serial data will be inputted, that is uh, the information will be input into the device uh, one by one, one bit at a time for a single clock pulse, and the output also will be taken like that. So output will be uh, uh, taken out of these uh, registers uh, by uh, uh, as a one bit of information at a time. So this is called serial in, serial out, uh, and there is another one is called serial in that uh, uh, parallel out. So the second type of uh, uh, register is called serial in parallel out, where the data will be input into the register as a single bit of information, whereas the output is taken at a time. So we can take all the output information at a time. So that is called the sing uh, serial input parallel output. So uh, this is called the first one is called SISO and second one is called SIPO. And the third type of uh, registers is parallel data inputs, serial data output, where the input will be given to the registers at a time, whereas output will be taken one bit at a time. Uh, that is called the PISO. And the fourth type of uh, registers where data input into the registers as a parallel uh, data input and uh, it will be taken out of the registers as also parallel data of information where all the data get shifted simultaneously for a single clock pulse. For in your syllabus, you will be only covering the first two types that is the serial input, parallel output and uh, serial input, serial output that is SISO and SIPO. <laughs> in a serial input, serial out registers, as the clock signal is connected to the all floor flip-flop, the serial data is connected to the leftmost uh, flip-flop. The output of the first flip-flop is connected to the input of the next flip-flop and so on. And the final output of the register is collected from the outermost flip-flop. Here you can see that uh, for a first clock pulse, the least significant bit of the information will be uh, given into the data input. So that is the least significant bit and this will be uh, transmitted to the uh, second stage for the next clock pulse that time the second digit will be uh, kind of, uh, given to the D in and uh, for the next clock pulse the third uh, digit will be given to D in and uh, simultaneously these numbers will be shifted and for the final clock pulse the fourth clock pulse the final uh, most significant bit will be given to D in so that finally you will get uh, the most significant fit bit here and the least significant bit here and the final output will be uh, get out of this data output. And here you can see the corresponding logic circuit for a serial in serial out register. The circuit consists of four deep flip flops which are connected in serials, uh, serial manner and the all flip flops are uh, synchronized with each other since same clock pulse signal is applied to each flip flop. Uh, uh, the shift registers uh, which uh, we, uh, here which allow serial input uh, that is one bit information after other like that and produce a serial output. Uh, since there is only one output, uh, the data uh, leaves the shift registers one bit at a time in a serial pattern. Uh, it is normally the, uh, one of the application of this, uh, uh, this is, is in the uh, uh, delay element. Uh, which is uh, this this can be used as a uh, temporary data storage devices but main application of this one is in the delay application delay element application in a serial in parallel out shift registers the data is entered serially and taken out in parallel fashion the data is loaded bit by bit the output is uh, the outputs are disabled as long as the data is loading as soon as the data loading get completed, all the flip-flops containing the uh, required data, the outputs are enabled. Four clock cycles are required to load a 4-bit uh, word. 
Hence, the speed of the operation of uh, serial input parallel output mode is same as that of serial input uh, serial out uh, serial out mode uh, resistors. Here you can see the uh, corresponding logic diagram. Uh, here also there are four flip flops are used, and the data information is uh, given for a first clock per signal. The least significant bit will be uh, inputted here, and for each uh, clock signals, this will be transmitted through this. And after four clock pulses, the data will be uh, here. The Q1, uh, Q2, Q3, Q4, the data information will be available here. And uh, after once the loading is completed, the output will be enabled so that you can get the serial at a time. You can get the all the output here. That is here. This point, this point, this point, and this point. You will get at a time. Here there are there is a clear signal also. So after that, uh, whenever one uh, particular operation is completed, you can clear all these for flip flops. Uh, they are used in communication. This type of uh, flip flops, which are generally used in communication lines, where the mul multiplexing of data line into several parallel lines is required, because the uh, main use of this uh, register is converting a serial data into parallel data output. With that, we'll stop this uh, lecture on the registers.